kwingine kwa mtazamaji katibu mwandamizi katika wizara ya masuala ya utalii Wilson Sosion amesema kwamba plastiki na bidhaa zisizoharibika kwa urahisi zinaendelea kuwa tishio kwa kasa na viumbe wengine baharini Sosion amesema kwamba kuna haja ya kutohamasishwa kwa jamii zinazoishi katika maeneo ya pwani kuhusiana na umuhimu wa kuondoa plastiki katika bahari ili kulinda mazingira Ufuo wa bahari ya Nyali kasa wachanga 148 wanaachiliwa baharini Shughuli za kibinadamu zikitishia viumbe hawa baharini walio katika hatari ya kuangamia Serikali inaonya kuwa viumbe vya baharini vimo katika hatari kubwa We will appeal to all the users all Kenyans when you visit the coast make sure don't drop any plastic or leave any material along the coastline this is all about self responsibility nao na mazingira wanasema kuwa kuna umuhimu kwa kile mwananchi kuzingatia usafi wa mazingira ili kuokoa viumbe hawa and we have appreciated through this short cleaning exercise that our our coastline is extremely polluted with the plastic and other non biodegradable materials which are a threat. Sosiona kisema kuwa ujenzi katika fuo za bahari ni tishio kwa maisha ya kasa. Human construction and creation of walls and artificial barriers uh, along the coastline that's a real big threat and we may end up losing the entire nesting uh, environment for the for the tatu. Nayo jamii ya wavuvi kitaadharishwa dhidi ya uvuvi wa kasa for the generation to come after us to be able to see and enjoy this this sea turtles we are engaging with our community members to uh, to give them um, more public education that is uh, why we have honorary wardens here that is why we are talking with the fishermen so that when the sea turtles are caught in the nets they can be able to raise them back mwana sayansi katika kituo cha utafiti kwa husu wa nyamapori dr mohamed omar anasema wamo mbioni kufufua mkakati endelevu wa uhifadhi wa kasa kuleka mkakati hapo awali ya inaitwa sea turtle conservation strategy ambayo ilienda kwa miaka kumi sasa tunataka ku review tena tunatengeza action plan mpya ambao tutahusisha Kenya Wildlife Service itahusika na Wildlife Research and Training na Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute Fisheries Department na jamii pia community there will be it will be a participatory process to try and promote the conservation of turtles